Smile and learn. Hi there, friends. My name's Full Stop, and I'm in the Punctuation Marks team. That's right. I'm a superhero. Do you know what is my mission? You don't? Well, friends, listen closely. Here we go. To start with, let me tell you that all punctuation marks are very important. We use them to communicate better and express our ideas clearly when we write, read, or speak. Today I'll tell you all about me. We use a full stop to indicate the end of a sentence that is not interrogative or exclamatory. For example, this superhero has superpowers. We are using the full stop at the end of this sentence to mark its ending. Remember that using a full stop at the end of a sentence means that the initial letter of the word that comes right after should be capitalized. Try not to forget that. There are different places to use a full stop. Let's look at two main functions of this punctuation mark. Full stops separate two complete, meaning-related sentences within the same paragraph. Let's look at an example. Thieves broke into a bank because the superhero was on vacation. Here we've used a full stop because the second sentence is related to the first one. They opened the safe and took everything. Easy, right? Let's look at the second function of the full stop. Full stops also mark the ending of a paragraph. Spacing and line breaks are important here. We should make sure that we leave an empty line and start a new paragraph. We'll use the new paragraph to develop another idea in our writing under the same topic. Let's carry on where we left off before. They opened the safe and took everything. New paragraph and a line break, because we're about to start a different sentence under the same topic. As soon as the superhero got back to the city and read the news in the paper, he went after the thieves in no time. I wonder how the story ends. Let's keep reading and do a recap. The superhero worked really hard to find the thieves in their hiding spot Counting the money they had stolen, we use a full stop and capitalize the initial of the word that comes right after. The superhero arrested them and handed them over to the police. Luckily, it all ended well. It wouldn't speak so highly of superheroes if it hadn't, right? Wow! Both functions of the full stop are equally important, aren't they? The full stops that end a sentence and those that mark the ending of a paragraph. Also remember that you always need to capitalize the initial letter of the word that comes right after a full stop. That was all, friends. Let's wrap up this video. Duty calls. See you soon. Hello, friends. My name's Kama. I'm a superhero in the Punctuation Marks team. My mission in this crazy world is... Well, actually, I have many missions. I can tell you all about them if you like. To start with, let me tell you that all Punctuation Marks are very important. We use them to communicate better and express clearly our ideas when we write, read, or speak. Today, you'll learn all about me, the comma. We use commas to indicate a pause in speech. I think it would be easier if I showed you some examples with a story. After a long day stealing around the city, the thieves were hungry, so they decided to order some takeout food for dinner. Don't confuse the full stop with the comma. The pause the comma marks is a bit shorter, and the initial of the word that follows a comma is not capitalized. Proper names would be an exception, but that's another story. 
let's focus on this one for now. There are four places to use a comma in a text. To separate items in an enumeration. To clarify meaning. To separate a person's name when addressing them directly. And to join sentences using conjunctions. I know! I do so many things, it's exhausting! Let's have a closer look! We use commas to separate items in an enumeration. Let's go back to our story. Susan, comma, Cobra, comma, Cleo, comma, and Jack are members of a dangerous band of criminals. They can't make up their minds. They want to have pizza, comma, sushi, comma, and hamburgers for dinner. We also use commas to explain something or clarify meaning. Let's have a look. Susan, comma, as we're about to explain who she is, is the head of the criminal band. Here we'll use another comma because it's where our explanation ends. Wants pizza for dinner. Cobra, comma, the grumpiest of all four, comma, insists on ordering sushi. Cleo, comma, the hungriest, comma, would eat a huge hamburger. And the last one is Jack, comma, the indecisive one, comma, because he can't decide what he likes most. Are you beginning to get the idea? We also use commas when addressing someone directly to separate their name from the rest of the sentence. Let's see what happens in the story. The head of the band wanted to show the team who was in charge. Jack, comma, I command you to cast your vote for pizza. Jack lowered his head and replied, Susan, comma, I'll do as you say. And finally, when we want to join two sentences using conjunctions, the comma should always go before the conjunction. And, but, so, or for are common examples of conjunctions we would use to connect sentences. Let's go back to the story. After waiting for an hour, the doorbell rang. It must have been the delivery man, comma. But they heard suspicious noises outside the door. They opened the door, comma, so the delivery man could enter, comma, and give them the pizza. To their surprise, he was not alone. The superhero and the police were with him. They were there to arrest the whole gang. Wow, what a strange story. Well, it helped us understand that we use commas as short pauses in a text. Let's recap the four uses of the comma. We use commas to separate items in enumeration, to clarify meaning, to separate a person's name when addressing them directly, and to add them before the conjunction when joining sentences. Well, that was all about commas, friends. See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.